This is a coming of age story, but it's one with contemporary teenagers who are obsessed with pornographic images, with digital technology, casual violence is an everyday occurrence. Um, but despite this context, the film is not at all judgmental. It doesn't um, come up with any kind of trite posturings or conclusions. So I wanted to ask you, because you're the writer as well as the director of the film, how you came up with the story of Yasna and why you wanted to make the film in this way. Well, um, I, I got the idea of uh, making the film when I saw a bunch of uh, clips all over the internet of uh, really young people who were shooting themselves while uh, they were bullying each other or um, wild parties, getting drunk, drugged, uh, sex tapes of really young girls. Um, also, so, some slight violence in school towards professors and such and such. Uh, and um, it, it was just um, overwhelming for me. I really felt that there is this very strong energy that um, they have and uh, that it's just bursting out of them. Um, so I, um, I mainly I was just um, scratching where it was itching. Um, and from then, uh, I started to think about what's going on with the relationships and what's going on with love. That was something that was the most interesting thing for me in that cruel surrounding. Uh, so uh, the main thing was to see how uh, love emerges um, in, in that reality and how is it shown. Uh, because um, I think that usually we think that in when... Um, the expression of emotions is uh, so violent um, and uh, and harsh um, that we don't we think that there are no emotions. Uh, and I was just w wondering how are they shown and to see uh, what's going on with them. Yeah, absolutely. One of the things that I think is very very interesting about the film is the way that it does use the mobile phone footage, um, particularly in the way that as a film it almost elicits complicity with the audience watching the film. So it, it creates, on the one hand, a kind of very uncomfortable feeling that you're watching things that you're not very happy kind of to see. But at the same time, it, it creates a great connectedness with what's happening um, to the characters in the film and, and what's happening in their lives with the audience kind of watching in on that way. Um, is that the kind of thing you wanted to achieve with, with making it that way and making that making it so the foregrounding the, the way that they film each other? Well, uh, the thing is, what was interesting for me in that cinematic way, um, meaning, was, first of all, like, when we're watching uh, fiction films, we, uh, we have to accept some convention that we are watching something that is real. And uh, when we're, like, watching some documentaries or, like, clips that we know that are real made, we, we don't have um, that convention. We just accept that as reality. Uh, and for me, it was very interesting to see what is the line of uh, accepting something and knowing that that is real. Um, so in that sense, like um, it was very interesting for me to have something that we know uh, how it looks, uh, how the sound is. We know the factor of the picture, how it is when w um, that we know it's a mobile phone, and we know that it's real. And because it's real, it's disturbing. Mm -hmm. um, that is the main thing. And uh, and on the opposite of something that we know as a fiction, like objective camera, and so, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. So I really wanted to make that a really close feeling. Mm -hmm. And also, because if somebody's um, filming things, uh, we see things f through their eyes, and not just as a POV, mm -hmm. but um, we really can grab the feeling of what they're thinking and how they're feeling. And because I wanted to make a very emotional film and really uh, um, a film that is from the um, a first voice mm -hmm. from her, um, it, it was something that was very natural uh, mm -hmm. for the film. Mm -hmm. well, uh, first thing is that we did castings for two years and um, uh, because, uh, first of all, I knew that I wanted to work with really young actors who are non-professional because they're young. They didn't go to uh, any faculty because they're minors. <laughs> 
And um, I knew that um, I mustn't make a compromise on the acting because it is what the film is depending on, whether you have a feeling that it is real or not. And um, that's why we did uh, castings for two years. But immediately, as I saw each and every one of them uh, who are in the film, I totally fell in love with them because they're, uh, of, of course, they're totally very talented. You could see something that, I don't know, is something that you want to watch. And, uh, and they're really great kids, very um, educated from great families, like totally different from what they're playing. And, um, and that's very interesting because they knew what the film and who the film was about, even though they're from totally different social and cultural background. But they have, of course, real life examples in, in their life. And then we started um, rehearsing and for four months we had like everyday rehearsals. Um, and uh, the thing was that uh, we really got to know each other and I think that um, because we really f trusted each other and really started to love each other, that we, and there was no uh, no judging. That was some of the rules. No judging. We shouldn't be ashamed of anything, and everything could be said. Um, and because of that, uh, I think that we all felt free. And from that freedom, uh, we uh, we could do whatever we wanted. Uh, so we improvised a lot um, on the rehearsals, and we really had fun. Um, that was the main thing. But we locked everything uh, because we were rehearsing so much. We locked, we really knew everything before the shooting. Um, but, uh, and also on the shooting, they felt also the freedom from before. Like it's not that you have to say this, um, this word, it, it really doesn't matter. But the thing that is that they were so rehearsed that they didn't change anything. But it's just a matter of their feeling that they were free. And uh, we really got to know, we became friends. I think that is very important. Well, um, I must say that uh, I'm very happy how it was uh, received in Serbia because, uh, first of all, um, I, I get like dozens of uh, messages on Facebook every day, like of young people who are very emotional about the film and who are thanking me or something like that, and, and also older, but a lot of younger people are are really thanking me to for speaking about their problems. Uh, and um, there is also, also um, all of the critics are, were very, all great and so, so, so. And um, of course, um, I, I don't want to make a film that people like, because uh, I think this, uh, this is not a feel good movie. And uh, um, uh, it's not, people either uh, li really love it or hate it. But uh, the thing is that uh, for me, what the most important thing and wh what I think uh, I managed uh, is that people are thinking about the film afterwards. Because I, I really want, I don't want to give some answers and that we, uh, we see the film and then we go out and we think, oh, everything is okay. Oh, th there are some people who are living really bad, but everything will turn out fine. Well, if we're not thinking about that, if we don't do something, it won't be okay. Uh, so for me, it's not the, uh, the question whether people like the film or not, but are they thinking about it? There are some people who don't like the film, but they told me that they're thinking for days about it, and that they hate the film, but they're really thinking about it. Mm. And uh, they're thinking what's going on. And they say, no, this is not happening, but there is this girl I know, blah, 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 and so, so, so. I saw this kind of clips, but it's not what's happening. Well, it was an animation, what you saw. And, um, and, but also the thing is, when I think that when people are showing something that is reality, uh, uh, usually uh, people have strong reactions. Uh, when, because everybody likes to be presented better than they are. And when somebody is trying to do that more objectively, then uh, people just have strong reactions because they're not perfectly presented in the film. 
Uh, so that that is the thing. I'm I'm very happy how it is, and really people like it uh, in in Serbia. Uh, and and now for what's going on in Serbian films. Well, um, the thing is that there are a lot of uh, really young authors who are uh, doing like their first second films, uh, and they're making them. Uh, without any compromises, and uh, you really have the feeling that they needed to tell a story. And that uh, we're totally different, like, uh, in a cinematic way, and what are our views of reality, of cinema, and whatever. But uh, what I think is very good is that a lot of films are dealing with reality. And uh, usually they're from, uh, like, really young authors. Um, and on the other hand, what I think is a very good thing now in Serbian films that our mi like middle-aged directors are now making their best films because you cannot have a cinematography that is depending on debutants that is cannot function. Uh, so it will be a good period, I think, for films from Serbia. Well, uh, the thing is that, uh, first of all, I wanted to show everything very openly and very directly. And in that sense, uh, you have violence very directly shown, you have emotions, you have relations in the family, what's going on with the school. Everything is very, very open and very direct. Nothing like we imagine. So uh, that is how I wanted, of course, to show sex. Because it is um, the way that the two main actors are uh, characters are communicating and it is something that is the most important part of their life among others but and for me also not showing sex would then uh, give sex a bad uh, name and it's not not <laughs> uh, sex is the best thing in the world and why the whole world exists and violence is bad but usually we are used to seeing violence and we not, don't react on that. Nobody asked why I'm showing some violence. And uh, that is, I think, something that is speaking about the society and um, what is our perception of what is good and what is bad. Sex. <laughs> <laughs>